Hey everybody, so I did a whole new pattern for Black History Month. Y'all like these earrings are from Hoop Mob. And so I'm going to show you how I got this look, y'all. Ooh, did I miss one? Lord. Anyway, I think I missed one. But the point is, we're going to hide that right on at the near there. The point is, yo, this looks like I did individual braids, but I did not. I did not. I did not. Okay? This is okay. very stylish. In a vegan kind of world, I'm so proud of my curls. Very stylish. I hope you can vibe with me. So I told myself I wasn't going to do long hair again, but I did long hair again. This is 24 inches Toyo Tress. Uh, Tiana Passion Twist and they are so beautiful. I forgot the color. I'll put the color um, in the description box. More, uh, 350? Mm, I think that's wrong. But I love this look and I want to show you how I got it. But have you subscribed yet? Have you hit that bell to let you know when I have a new video out? Come on, let's go. I know it's been a few weeks. But yeah, I had to let my hair rest a little bit. But I'm back! So I'm going to give you a little black history and a tutorial all in one. This is DIY, black history AF. You know what I'm saying? Do y'all follow me on TikTok? You should be following me on TikTok. And if you're here from TikTok, hey boo, hey. So I made it my business to always celebrate living black history or black history in general and supporting black brands all year long. And the creator of Passion Twist, her name is Kaylin Rogers. She's a black woman and she took the idea of goddess locks and the idea of Senegalese twist, put them together and decided to have like a curly twist. And so I love the spring twist because it makes my hair look like it's my hair and I love it. I'll put all the products I'm using in the description box, but let's keep going. So we wear these styles in our hair to protect it because it's very fragile and we spend a lot of time and effort on our hair because it's basically our culture and who we are. There was a time that, you know, I was told I couldn't wear my natural hair in public places if I wanted to participate in religious activities, in weddings, in different things. And, you know, it's hard talking to people about, you know, natural hair and wearing box braids and Senegalese twists because they don't understand the discrimination that we face as women with natural hair. And because my hair isn't loose or easy to slick back with water, um, a lot of times, you know, I'm not treated with the same respect. My hair is not given the appreciation that it deserves. And so by doing these tutorials and wearing my hair natural and showing you what 4C hair can do, or what's labeled as 4C, I just say I have tight, kinky, coily hair. I just think it's important for us to have representation with hair type, with skin tone, with facial features, with body size. And this is my mission on this app and all the other apps that I participate in, is to show the variety of black hair, of black skin, of black bodies, of black voices, of black content my house isn't you know luxurious um, or a five-star hotel but this is who i am i'm creative and resilient and strong and beautiful and innovative just like the ancestors that came before us and shout out to all of our West African sisters who showed us the way with braiding styles and cornrows. And to be honest with you, listen, my mom never talked to me about Africa, but she cornrowed my hair since I was a little girl. I was getting my hair braided since I was a little kid. So I love my hair. I appreciate my hair. And thank you to black women for making us the most undefeated hair champions in the entire world. I mean... Think of it like laying your edges. A black woman did that, okay? Making your hair with red and burgundy 
and putting foam on your roots. A black woman did that. This is magic. Our hair is magic. And so I just want us to really take a minute to appreciate all this wonderfulness. Yeah. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and let me know what you think in the comments. Bye.